In this video, we're going to take a look at a flashlight that has some unique features I think you're going to like. This is the WorkGhost TD-03 Dual Mode EDC and Tactical Flashlight. If you're interested, keep watching. All right, before we get started, I just want to thank WorkGhost for sending out the TD-03 so that I could share it with you. So when WorkGhost reached out to me and offered to send this light, I took my time to look at it, look at all of its features, and I think you're really going to like the features on this light. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go down to the tabletop, we'll go over its key features, we'll go over its physical and performance specifications, its modes of operation, then of course we'll get outside and do some testing. All right, just before we focus in on the light itself, let's take a look at what it came with. So it did come with a manual of operation and warranty information. It does come with a USB Type-C charging cable. And just one comment here, this is a longer cable than I normally get with flashlights. I do appreciate having small cables at times, but sometimes a longer cable is also nice to have. And the other thing that it came with is this little Ziploc bag that has a lanyard and a pair a spare pair of o-rings all right we'll bring the lamp back in and uh, the one other thing that or two other things i guess that are included is the pocket clip on this so you can see it is a one-way pocket clip it allows the flashlight to be uh, carried securely in my pocket and not so deep that I can't get a hold of it to pull it out. Sometimes they go right to the very top and they're just a little more work to dig out. I don't mind the fact that it's not a two-way pocket clip because to be honest, I can't see clipping this to a ball cap to use as a headlamp. And the other thing, of course, the light comes with is a 3000 milliamp hour 18650 lithium ion rechargeable battery. All right, let's take a quick look at the key features. So right off of the top, it's turbo setting, 1800 lumens. And as I'll mention in a minute, there's no step down on this. That's a straight 1800 lumens for the entire runtime. But probably the thing that draws me most to this light, and I think it's the thing that will appeal to most viewers, is the tail cap switch. It has a rotary tail cap switch that you rotate here to turn the light on and off and to switch between the EDC and the tactical mode. It does also have a tail cap button here that allows you to change the lumen settings. I'll be demonstrating both of those in a minute. And the last thing I'll show you is this deep polished reflector, which would would indicate that it is a flow, uh, throwing light and it is it does have a good spotlight for a good distance but uh, it also has a good amount of flood both of which are important all right we'll go into the physical specifications for the light starting with the weight so with the battery installed 4.4 ounces or 124 grams overall length 5 inches or 126.6 millimeters Diameter at its widest is 1.1 inch or 28 millimeters. And as you would expect from a quality flashlight, it has a waterproof, dustproof rating of IP68 and an impact resistance rating of 1.5 meter drop. All right, just before I go into the performance specification, just want to give you a bit of a close up so in case I miss any of these features, the USB Type C charging port, if I can get my fingernails to grab onto it, is right there rubber cap to close it over. Now what you're not going to be able to see right now is there's a small LED light right where my think finger is and that light comes on when the light is in operation but it's also your battery status light and uh, the uh, status light indicators are listed in the manual as well. All right let's pull it back. Now let's go through the lumen settings. So a turbo as mentioned is 8 1800 lumens which will last for two hours and a beam cast at 353 meters as i mentioned it does not have a step down most flashlights have a heat protection circuitry that will allow the light to drop from turbo after a short period of time just to protect the unit from overheating now here's what i've discovered i've turned the light on i've left it on and it doesn't step down and i've also grabbed onto the end of it once it was been on for a while found it very warm but not so hot that I couldn't hold on to it. So however the technology is working in this, it allows the light to stay on at its uh, set lumen level for the entire runtime. So after turbo comes high, a thousand lumens at three hours for 252 meter beam cast, medium 350 lumens lasting for seven hours with 137 meter beam cast and low of 50 lumens lasting 34 hours with 
with a 53 meter beam cast. So there is no eco mode, firefly mode, whatever you want to call it on this light. The lowest setting is 50 lumens. It does also have a strobe, of course, and that strobe uses the same lumen settings at turbo at 1800. All right, let's go through the operation of this flashlight. And as I mentioned, the thing that stands out the most about this light, at least to me, and the feature I think will appeal to a lot of viewers is the fact of how the light is operated. It has this rotary cap right here, and that's how you turn the light on and off off and switch between EDC or outdoor mode and tactical mode. So let's see if I can give you some close-ups. You'll be able to see there's a small arrow right where my finger points and it's pointing down to the on-off indicating right now that the light is in the off position. But if I rotate the switch in this direction, it'll first go to the EDC or outdoor mode and then to the tactical mode and it's just that simple. So now it's in EDC mode and now it's in tactical mode. If I want to switch lumens for each of the two settings, I do so using the button on the end. So I'll demonstrate that now. Let's turn the light off. So making sure that everything stays in focus, I'm going to turn it on first to EDC mode. Uh, it's on high. All right, so now we're at low, so this would be low. Tap the button again, we go to medium. Tap the button again, we go to high. Tap the button again, and we go to turbo. You'll note that there is no need for a double press to turn on the turbo. Now, this mode also has strobe, so I'll give you a warning now that I'll be turning the strobe on. And to uh, activate the strobe, you just press and hold the on-off button for just a moment and it turns the strobe and it is one of those switching strobe uh, type patterns and then turn it off again and you'll note that it also has memory for the last mode or last lumen setting. Now I'm going to turn it over to tactical when you go to tactical, it immediately comes on in turbo. It uh, You don't get a choice. It, that's what it comes on. No, and you only get two lumen settings in the tactical mode, which is turbo, and if you tap the button, low. So that's the two you get. I guess those are both good settings to have in the tactical mode, but you do also get the uh, strobe setting again by pressing and holding, and the light will go on, turn it off. And then you just rotate the switch back to the off position. Now, the last, only other thing I want to show you about the operation is why I like this so much and how I find it easy to use. So one of the comments I often make about flashlights is that it can be difficult sometimes to find the on-off switch, especially with your gloves on and not being able to see it maybe in the dark. And sometimes the on-off switch, or oftentimes the on-off switch, is some, located up somewhere near the top of the flashlight, and it's either recessed or very low to the flashlight itself, making it a little challenging to find. That's not the case with this one. You know exactly where it is every time. There's no uh, worry or no, searching for it, we'll say. Now, for turning it on and off one-handed, um, it, it's easy enough to do because what I'll do is I'll wrap my baby finger or baby two or two smaller fingers onto the outside of the basil and just rotate it from the front. Sorry about that. Put it in your face. And that's all it is to turn it on and off. And this is even easier to some degree to do so with gloves. Now, the only thing that gets in the way sometimes is the tail cap switch. So if you can do without, not the tail cap switch, sorry, the uh, pocket clip. If you can do without that, then there's really nothing to get in the way of you rotating this in your hand at, to turn it on and off. I find that quite easy. The only thing you, it's a little harder to do one-handed is changing the lumen setting. So once you get it on, you do have to come to the back and then press the button to change the lumen settings. All right, that's the operation of this light. Let's get it outdoors and do some demonstrations. All right, we're doing some nighttime testing for the Workos TD-03. Let's turn it on. Now I'm going to be turning it on and low. And uh, that's my shed. I'm standing probably about 40 feet away from it. Just cast it over back area to the neighbors. You can see it's not casting real far. Let's take it up to medium. That's definitely casting further. And as you can see, I'll put it back on the shed. There is quite a distinct central hot spot with some quite a bit of a diffuse flood around the outside. It's more spot than it is flood, but there is enough flood that if you needed to see outside of that central hot spot, you could do so quite well. I'm noticing now more than I did before. This is a slightly warmer light. It's not really white or cool white. It's kind of towards the warmer side, a little bit on the yellow side, as you can see. Let's take it up to high. 
Now we're really lighting up the house. That house is a 60, maybe 70 feet away, as you can see. Does a good job there. Take it up to turbo. Definitely lighting up the whole backyard now. Look how much it uh, reflects off of that shed. All right, let's wrap this video up with a few more comments for the Workhouse TD03 dual mode EDC and tactical flashlight. So right off the top, the thing I like the most obviously is the rotary tail cap that allows me to turn the light on in either EDC or in uh, tactical mode. I also like the fact that I can change lumen settings using the tail cap or button on the end. However, one comment there is I would like to see it just a little taller, maybe flush to the top of the flashlight or the base in this case, or even slightly above, because I did find it just a little difficult to operate with my gloves on. So, and that's the only thing. It may or may not have that same issue as I did. The other thing I like about this is the beam cast. This is purely a search light. It does have spill to the sides and flood, but as you saw, it has good long distance beam cast on this with a very tight central hot spot. And uh, I think it works very well on that light. And of course, that's directly related to the deep polished reflector on the front of the light. All right, that's everything I have to say about this Workos TD-03 flashlight. What I'll be doing, of course, is putting all the information I have, including the specifications and the links where you can take another look at it in the video description below. If you have any comments or questions, please put those in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.